Hi guys, welcome to this video series on accounting for IGCSE students. Having understood the rules of debit and credit, let us see some examples and apply these rules. Before going further, let us quickly revise these rules. When an asset increases in the business, the asset is debited and when an asset decreases, the asset is credited. When a business liability is generated in a transaction, the liability is credited. When the liability is paid or settled, it decreases and hence it will be debited. In a transaction, when the owner introduces his personal assets in the business, capital will always be credited. And when the owner uses business assets for personal use, drawings will be debited. Incomes earned by the business will be credited and day-to-day -day expenses paid or incurred will be debited. Now let's go on and analyze some business transactions to determine what to debit and credit in each of these transactions. One thing that should always be kept in mind is that accounting is always done for and from the point of view of business and not the owner. One should not confuse the business and the owner. So our first transaction, Andy started business of buying and selling toys by introducing cash 100,000 in the business. First we need to identify what accounts are involved in this transaction. When Andy introduces cash in the business, the asset cash increases in the business. So I can say that cash will be affected. Since Andy is owner and he is getting personal assets in the business, capital account will be affected. Now we need to write down the nature of these accounts, which has been already discussed. Cash is an asset account and capital will be capital. Next, we need to analyze the effect of this transaction on these accounts. For example, because of this transaction, business cash is increasing. So I'll write increase under cash. And because of this transaction, owner's capital is also increasing in the business. Now applying our rules of debit and credit, when an asset increases in the business, it is debited. So cash will be debited in this transaction. And when capital increases in the business, it is credited. So for the first transaction, my cash will be debited and my capital will be credited. Going to the second transaction, purchased office furniture costing 8,000 and paid cash for it. We need to identify the accounts involved first. Since the business is getting its asset office furniture, one of the accounts involved would be furniture and the business is paying cash for it. So cash will also change. Furniture is an asset. It's a resource of the business. Cash is also an asset of the business. Because of this transaction, the business is receiving furniture Hence, furniture is increasing. Since the business is paying cash to receive this furniture, the cash asset is decreasing. When an asset increases, it is debited. Hence, furniture will be debited in this. And when an asset decreases, it is credited. Hence, cash will be credited. Let's see some more transactions. Deposited cash into bank. One of the accounts involved would be the business bank account. And then we have a cash account. Bank is an asset, cash is also an asset. When money is deposited into bank account, the bank balance or the bank asset increases and the cash balance will decrease. Hence, bank will be debited and cash will be credited. Paid salary to employee 4000 and office rent 6000 by cash. So our accounts involved would be a salary account, a rent account and cash account. Salary is an expense, rent is an expense and cash is an asset. Expense increases in this transaction, rent expense also increases. Since the business is paying cash, cash will decrease in this transaction. Applying the rules of debit and credit, when an expense is paid, it is debited. Hence, salary will be debited, rent will also be debited and cash will be credited. Paid Andy's residential rent 5000 by check. So let's identify the accounts involved. Can we use a rent account? No, we cannot use a rent account because this is not business rent. It is the owner's personal rent. Hence, you cannot use a business rent account. When personal expenses of the owner are paid, you use a drawings account. And since it is paid by check, the amount goes from the bank account. The nature of accounts, drawings will be classified as drawings. Bank account is an asset. Drawings is increasing in this transaction and bank asset, bank balance is decreasing. When personal expenses of the owner is paid using business resources, drawings is always debited. And since bank as an asset is decreasing, it will be credited. Now these were some of the very basic transactions in the business. There could be so many other transactions in the business. Out of them, most important would be transactions relating to the goods. Every business is set up to 
deal in some products buy and sell these products so there will be numerous transactions relating to the goods of the business so let us see some of these transactions before going further to the transactions relating to goods let us see what are the different category of transactions for goods first we'll have transactions relating to purchase of goods then sales of goods when the suppliers return the goods back to the business they are known as purchase returns and when goods are returned back to the customer they are known as sales returns in a purchase transaction the business is receiving goods in other words goods as an asset is increasing so i can say that purchase account will always be debited when the business is selling goods the goods asset decreases hence sales account will always be credit in a purchase returns transaction goods as an asset decreases hence purchase returns will always be credit in a sales returns transaction the business is receiving its goods back from the customer hence goods as an asset is increasing hence sales returns will always be debit now let's see some transactions which involve trading in goods purchased toys costing $3000 from toy store and paid cash immediately now toys is a goods for this particular business they are dealing in toys since the business is purchasing the goods we use the account purchase account and since the business is paying cash for it so the next account affected is cash account when goods are being purchased the business is receiving goods goods is an asset hence purchase account will be debited and since the business is paying cash for it cash is decreasing when an asset decreases it is credited purchased another consignment of toys costing $5000 from toy store on credit and it was agreed to pay them later this time the business has again purchased goods but on credit it is decided to pay them later so the first account that is affected is the purchase account this time since the business is not paying cash cash account won't be affected but since it is purchasing goods on credit from toy store it has to pay toy store in the future so that creates a liability for the business toy store which is a creditor for the business again in this transaction the business is getting goods hence purchase account will be debited toy store is a liability creditor is a liability since the liability is increasing toy store account will be credited the business sold toys for dollars 2500 and received cash from the customer since the business is selling toys sales account is affected and it is receiving cash from the sale so cash account in a sales transaction the goods are going out of the business and asset is decreasing hence sales account will be credited and the business is receiving cash for this transaction cash is an asset and asset is increasing hence cash will be debited in this transaction sold goods on credit to mr x at a price of dollars 1000 again business is selling goods so there will be a sales account but this time it's not receiving cash it is selling it on credit and we have mr x who is a debtor debtors are people or firms to whom goods are sold on credit an amount will be received in future from them sales account will be credited goods are going out hence credited mr x is a debtor debtor is an asset asset is increasing in the transaction hence mr x will be debited goods worth 250 returned back by mr x so the first account i can write as sales returns and mr x we had credited sales when goods were being sold sales returns is an opposite transaction hence debited the business is receiving back its goods goods is an asset hence sales returns is debited once mr x returns the goods worth 250 we are going to receive a lesser amount from mr x hence mr x's balance is decreasing an asset decreases it is credited hence mr x is credited goods costing 200 were returned back to toy store on account of being defective this is a purchase returns transaction goods are being returned goods are being returned back to the supplier and we have toy store when goods were being purchased purchase was debited in a purchase returns transaction the goods is decreasing hence purchase returns will be credited and toy store which was a liability decreases as a result of this transaction hence debit receive the check of 750 from mr x to settle the balance due so we have a bank account the check amount the amount is received by check hence bank account is affected and since it is received from mr x we have mr x as a result of this transaction the bank account increases hence we have a debit in the bank account bank account will be debited and mr x 
sys balance reduces after this transaction hence credit pay an amount of $1500 to toy store by check towards amount due to them so again we have a bank account as the amount is paid by check and since it is paid to toy store so toy store since amount is being paid to toy store the bank balance is decreasing hence bank account will be credited and toy store is a liability liability is decreasing hence it will be debited so this is how you analyze business transactions and decide what account is debited and what account is credited if you think that the video is useful please like the video and share it with others kindly subscribe to my youtube channel to receive notifications when more videos will be uploaded If you have any feedback regarding the video or you have any doubt regarding this topic please comment below the video or you may whatsapp me or email me on the details mentioned